Welcome to the morning of day 10. Um, it's about around 6 a.m., just after 6 a.m., day 10 here. And I'm now talking about day 9. Okay, so day 9 for me was Halloween. Halloween is a terrible day to be trying to lose weight on for obvious reasons. But here's what you need to know, and that's really, really, really important, is that on everyone's weight loss journey, you're going to have Halloweens. You're going to have your own Halloween. It could be a Thanksgiving. It could be it could be something else. And I tell you the approach I took to yesterday, and you don't have to take this approach. It's what I decided to do. You can just continue on doing the weight loss you're doing. I decided it was Halloween, and I was going to allow myself to participate and have sugar and chocolate, knowing full well that this morning's weigh-in was probably going to go up. Okay, this is okay if you make a conscious decision to do it and do it once. You have to keep in mind what that means is today, the next day, not to be too upset that I gained weight and to remember to use it as motivation to keep me going. Meaning, I'm not going to allow the fact that I made a conscious decision to get down on myself and feel like, well, I'm just going to give up on the program. I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to use it to re-energize myself and just dive deeper in. And today I'm going to make a special care and effort to reduce my calories so that when I do the weigh-in tomorrow on day 11, um, then I'll be right back on track, hopefully having lost half a pound from today. Okay. But it's just important to know we're, we're all going to have these days because when we change how we eat, when you change how you eat for life, you are going to have days like today. Okay, like it could be Christmas for you. I don't know. Everyone has their own thing or birthdays or whatever. Okay, the, the key is really not to have too many of them. You certainly don't want to have two of them in the same week. Okay, with that being said, uh, yesterday I decided because I was going to do Halloween and participate in Halloween candy that... I had a really, my typical breakfast, with I, which I don't think I'm going to change, <coughs> coffee, fruits, nuts. I had a salad for lunch with pistachio nuts. Uh, here's one other thing. Uh, yesterday, I didn't eat my five meals because I had a day, uh, even though it was Halloween day, I had a lot of clients that specifically wanted yesterday, and it was even a Saturday. So I... I was back to back with clients all day doing uh, uh, mostly quit smoking hypnosis, but uh, helping with some weight loss, but mostly quit smoking. And so I missed those two meals. In fact, I had to eat my lunch. My wife had to bring my lunch down, which was salad and nuts, and I had to eat it while I was doing a session with somebody. That's how packed my day was yesterday. But I didn't let that fact mean... I didn't make let allow that to make me do something like, well, I'm just going to have something easy like fast food or I'm going to go to Subway and have a sub, right? I had I said, nope, I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to have something healthy because I know what was coming last night because I have two young girls. Okay, so that being said, that was yesterday, okay? And for my dinner, by the way, um, uh, yesterday, so I had the salad for lunch, but I didn't have it with any meat at all. I needed to eat, remember I said I needed to eat some carbohydrates? So I had pasta. So I had a combination of pasta and Halloween candy, which is a terrible combination if you're trying to lose weight. So why don't we find out what happened yesterday? Why don't we get on the scale, okay? So uh, just do this quickly. <coughs> Here I am, sideways. Pretty much the same as yesterday. I didn't I don't think you really ever notice much change from one day to the other when losing weight. Okay. Shirt off and we'll do the weigh in quickly. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Definitely changed from the beginning. Okay. And back to front. Okay. Let's do this. Let me get my clothes back on. All right. Yesterday I was. 220.8, which was the morning of day nine. So eight days, I've been down eight pounds. So I was just averaging a pound a day. Eventually, we'll probably get to half a pound a day. But Halloween, here we go. Okay.
I today am now at 220.8. That is crazy. 220.8. I can't believe I stayed at 220.8. That is insane. I'm going to put my phone out and put my shirt back off you. I was for sure thinking I was going to be up half a pound. Okay, so what happened? So a couple things. Uh, I ate my pasta plate. I had a lot of pasta on it. Okay, my pasta plate was big. I really didn't eat a lot of chocolate. And thank goodness nowadays, these chocolate companies to save money make their chocolate so small. Okay, I had a very small amount of cho chocolate. So I didn't eat a whole lot of candy. So it looks like I really got lucky yesterday. Even though I didn't eat well, and I did include carbohydrates, I still managed to at least maintain the weight from the day before. That's a huge win. I thought for sure I was gonna be up half a pound again. Okay, great. So I'm gonna allow this to even motivate me even more. So today I'm gonna to keep doing my um, the hypnosis. I'm decided that today I'm, I'm not gonna tell you which one I'm gonna do because I wanna to wait to see what comes up for me today. And I'm going to pick the one that's most appropriate, whether I'm craving something in particular or I just need more motivation to keep going. And then in terms of those push and pull techniques, I'm going to do the same thing today. I'm going to decide in the moment. The last couple of days I've been telling you what I'm going to do. But I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow what I did. Okay, so big win, Halloween. I got through it. I maintained my weight, so I'm still down eight pounds. I'm on the morning of day 10 right now. And I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow morning's check-in.